Hello, my name is Creostex and welcome to F1 2017 and to my video series of 100 years of Finland where I play video games where I either am playing in Finland or as Finland or as someone from Finland as in this case I will be driving as Valtteri Bottas from Finland, you see, haha, <laughs> yes. Um, the last time I did this, I played the F1 2016 game, I played as Kimi Räikkönen. And this time I will be driving a 25% long uh, race, because the full length was an interesting experiment to do once. It was way too long to just, like, oh man. And the uh, AI driver level is uh, medium, at exactly 50. And beyond that, there's a, let's not do a, a qualifying thing. The flashbacks are on, but I but I hope to not use them. I hope for the best, but we'll see. Uh, park Ferme rules on, vehicle damage reduced, safety car off, rules and flags on, corner cutting stringency regular, formation lap off, race starts manual. And we have no brake assist, but, but we do have anti-lock brakes, full traction control, a racing line is corners only, it's in 3D, and automatic gearbox, and... Pit assists are on. Let's put, uh, let's say, a clear day because we want to uh, see what we're doing over here. And that's uh, let's roll. And indeed, I, I'm, 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 I'm driving the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix because I believe it was, as I'm recording this, it has just been finished. So it feels fitting. And in that one, indeed, Valtteri Bottas, I believe he he got the pole position and the fastest lap, I think. And he also won the race, so uh, uh, let's. Uh, we're not doing doing a qualifying, so so a pull-up position is not exactly a thing here. But uh, let's see if we can, you know, uh, recreate that. Otherwise, let's uh, hope for the best. And indeed, my camera is in this little position here because uh, in this spot, I won't hopefully be uh, blocking any, you know, in important info on while racing the actual thing. The um, and it starts right now. This is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the I'll be starting from four, from third place. Okay. It seems to put put me at a uh, just a, either a a, a a random spot near the top or somewhere nearby that. But let's. Yeah. So uh. We're doing one pit stop in the yeah Yes Marina circuit. I have some practice on this because it's in I think most Forza games, so I have a bit of an idea of how the track layout goes. But again, I'm I'm absolutely not even close to an expert. I'm barely a, a beginner ish. I'll hopefully win, but that's about it. I'll do badly. I'll do horrible mistakes, horrible like errors everywhere. Every corner is just like it'll be hurt. It will hurt your eyes to watch that, so just, you know, be, be prepared for not too good driving, you see, yeah. <laughs> These are to celebrate Finland, not to be super good at F1, yes, that's the, uh, the uh, idea here. And uh, let's then see if we can get a decent-ish start. And yeah, I can live with that, sure. Let's see if we can hold the uh, third position. Well, we can't. Well, maybe we can't. Let's just take the outside corner here. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Bad start. I'll give, give you that. But uh, we'll get there, I hope. I also... Um, this takes some, um, um, you know, uh, concentration of reactions over here. So I don't know how uh, uh, coherent my narration will be. We will see about that. But... Um, yeah, so, uh, indeed, when my camera is in this spot, I won't be, uh, blocking the uh, position info, I hope. I, I, I hope I got that right. And, uh, let's just go past our countryman Raikkonen over, oh, 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 over there, nice and clean, yes. And then we go after Sebastian Vettel. And, indeed, uh, it'll be curious to see if, uh, Valtteri Bottas will, uh, you know, sort of take the next step in, for example, the next season. Oh, 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 careful, careful, careful. In the next season, because, um... 
He did in the end, you know, finish, I believe, uh, I, I believe third in the championship points, be, while Hamilton won and, and Vettel was second, which is, it's not a, you know, you know position-wise, it's not a terrible result by any means, but it is a lot behind Hamilton, who has more or less, uh, well, not exactly the same car, obviously, because they have these ind individual tunings and details and parts and experimental parts and, and, and all that, which, which which are different. But still, um, I think he needs to do a, a bit better to uh, really so solidify him his place as a, an elite driver. He is really, really good at this point, but he's, he, he still has a little bit of something to prove, I think, because he has technically a win, a winning car, which, I mean, he won in Abu Dhabi, so it's proven. And, it, and it's, I think he's won, like, I, I want to say three races overall, I, maybe. That's, that's my memory just sort of, sort of, sort of brought that up. Don't quote me on that, I'm not completely sure, but I think that's what happened. That's what has happened. But yeah. And, uh... Indeed, this year, no longer... We have one less uh, Finnish driver in... Or we had one less Finnish driver than before, because, uh... Well, so again, technically, the... Nico Roosberry is a, uh... He's, he, he drove under the flag of Germany while I think he lives in Monaco, <laughs> so uh, there's that. But, and, uh, but he has a Finnish passport and he is, you know, a, a Finnish citizen as, as well because his dad is Finnish. His dad is the uh, world champion from ages past, the, uh, the uh, I believe he would be called Keith Roosberry or Keke Roosberry, I think. No, sorry, not Keith. I just that is a completely sorry. Keijo Roosberry, of course. Keijo, sorry, sorry. Keijo Roosberry. I'm a moron. I, I, I just, I can't. I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus while focusing. You know, <laughs> uh, this double tasking is a bit difficult, and I still haven't caught Hamilton, which is really, really bad. I need to step up my game here. But yeah, so uh, technically speaking, Nico Roosberry. Uh, is also a uh, Finnish, while even though he he was driving under the German flag, so uh, that's he's a kind of a you know a multi citizen of pretty much well a, a lot of places, <laughs> but still. So now we have only Reikkonen and Bottas. I actually I'm not sure who would be the next one to uh, hopefully one day reach the F1s, but uh, as long as I've been around, I. Or at least as long as I've been following F F F1 from the early 90s or whatever, I uh, there has never been a season where there wouldn't be a Finnish driver. I think because even at the at the time when uh, when Raikkonen was on his small hiatus doing rallies and stuff in the meantime, I uh, I believe Heikki Kovalainen was still you know in the. Uh, sir circuits here, I think. Ooh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. That's my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, you know, I, uh, I am not too, <laughs> too careful when it comes to my, yep, minor damage to the, to the front, front wing. I, that was my bad. Sorry, L L Lewis, I'm got a bit, uh, care, to carried away with the thing. Also, um, as I, tr like, tried this for a little bit, I noticed that that purple color, I think, is showing up really weird. It's fine on my TV, but regardless of what, you know, color s settings I use, it shows up a, a little off on the actual video, I think, but that's, I hopefully we can, uh, get past that fact, yes. And, and hopefully we can also not let Lewis pass, which is, I think, exactly the uh, situation the actual um, Grand Prix had, where uh, Bottas did indeed lead for most of the race, because he also had the pole position, but Lewis was really uh, breathing down his neck, especially at the end. But it's a really, really difficult... Uh, it's I hear it's one of the most difficult... Uh, 
causes to overtake on in actual, like, real life. Obviously, I think Monaco might be the most difficult, because there's just no room anywhere, but uh, still. I hear that's a bit of a problem in this place. It's a, it's a fun place to drive. I mean, I've enjoyed pretty much, like, every iteration of this circuit in, in all the uh, racing games I've played, but I hear it's indeed really, really difficult to uh, overtake in real life. And, uh, indeed, since we're talking about uh, Finnish drivers, I, uh, there's also, of course, uh, Mika Häkkinen, which um, most people who watch the uh, F1s in the 90s or early 2000s probably know that name. He's a two-time world champion, I believe, and uh, he's the, the uh, most, let's say, decorated driver from Finland, I believe. Uh, uh, there's a couple of more champions, true, but no double champions, I feel, beyond him. And uh, he was also famous for for his uh, way of talking. He, he uh, turned his English a bit... Uh, there was a very, very uh, strong accent to his Eng English, which was really, uh, like really uh, difficult to uh, understand. There's probably a YouTube videos of that. It's it's pretty funny to see the uh, press uh, uh, sort of um, conference, well not conference, but like the uh, sort of press e events after after the race where he's he's talking and it's like yeah that's that sure is some Finnish English over there. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, and there's also of course uh, I believe I mentioned mo at least most if not all of the. Uh, drivers in the first F1 video I made, but I'm not sure anymore because that that was so long. I did I I took so long to actually do that that um, race, so I can't remember anymore what I actually said, but uh, beyond those two, the one I also saw or a a, a couple of more I saw was a um um as a driver as were Mika Salo, who, uh, he was also really fast, and he's done a, done a really long career in driving. I, uh, I, I believe he drove, like, a lot of other things beyond just the, uh, Formula Ones in, in his, in, in his career. He, uh, did, for example, the, uh, I don't want to just sound like, like, I don't want to be wrong, because I can't exactly remember the, the specifics, but I believe he probably drove a 24-hour race in either Le Mans or, or in something like that, maybe. But yeah, I, I think he was still driving when he was even 50, I think, or, or turned 50, so... He does that a lot, and, I, and, and, and these days he actually, uh, he oftentimes is in the... Uh, you know, the the sort of a judge committee in many uh, F1 races, not all of them, but many of them, who, uh, say, give, you, you know, penalties for infractions of rules in, for the dr drivers, like, you know, if they cut corners or do that sort of stuff. It has happened, I believe they, uh, they, ha they have, uh, at least they uh, uh, broke the news a few times in, in, in this se season with a couple of, uh, when he was in the, uh, you know, the judge group or or or, or whatever it's called, the um, and some, uh, you know, rules had to be enforced there. And beyond him, oh, and he also had. Before I move on from him, he also drove for the uh, Ferrari as w at one point, b back when I believe Schumacher had a, a broken leg or something and he couldn't drive for the rest of the season. And then it was Eddie Irvine and uh, Mika Salo that one year, eight, eight, eight years ago. That, that was an interesting time. There we are. Let's pit in and hope real hard we don't uh, lose a whole bunch of time here. But I believe we need to... Need to uh, r r r r really, um... Oh, and I don't think they fixed the uh, front wing, so it isn't that broken then. Okay, that's an interesting thing to uh, remember. But yeah, so, um... Let's not cross the, tr the white line, yes, good. Um, but indeed, I'm not exactly sure, like... 
It's really curious how in this one sport, well, I mean, I guess motorsports in general when I really think about it, but in, in motorsports there's an interestingly a large um, representation of Finnish drivers in a, a lot of things, be it, you know, for, Formula One or uh, World Rally Championships, you know, stuff or that sort of things, because, I mean, we're, we're not a huge, you know, country. We're like five point something million, I think, maybe almost six. So, uh, how come there's oftentimes like two Finnish drivers in the Formula One? It's, for some reason, motorsports is really, really big here. It's pretty much like if people have the funds to, to, uh, oh, 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 sorry, uh, to, that was a really bad overtake. Um, if, if, if people have the funds to do some, you know, almost any sort of motorsport as a um, hobby or something, they oftentimes do that. Not every time, of course, it's, you know, everyone's, you know, an individual, but it's really, really popular here. I don't know what it is about that, it's just... We just love our machines going fast and, and uh, you know, be it on tarmac or dirt or whatever, we... Uh, that's her thing. And it just... Thanks to that, I think it... It also so happens that... Um, many, say, um, corporate sponsors often pick up... Or, or well, um, support, let's say. Support some, like, uh, young drivers in Finland. So they have... So if they they happen to get that, they have a pretty good uh, chance to, uh, you know, rise in the ranks of motorsports to end up in the F1, for example. So uh, I think that's what usually happens in these cases. I, I have no memory of exactly, like, you know, what sponsors, you know, supported which driver or, 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 or anything, but I believe that is more or less how it goes down. And I am already back in the first place, and... Uh, if I don't really, really F up here, I will hopefully win this. So, yay? Awesome! I Let's hope for the best and hope that I'm not a very, very terrible driver. Which, just watch something bad happen, but uh, yeah. Um, and one more Finnish driver which I uh, saw back in the day was... Uh, Jyrki Järvilehto, which, uh, who was called JJ Lehto. If I remember correctly, he never really got a chance to drive in a really, really, you know, good team. He oftentimes uh, drove for the, you know, smaller teams back then, who also had a lot of technical difficulties, where in many, many races, the cars even just wouldn't start from the, you know, starting line. So, uh, uh, we have this, I, I, I have this, like, mental image of, of, of JJ Lehto just, uh, Staying in his place in a black Formula One car, while everyone else else just you know, starts the race. Like, oh no, JJ, no. <laughs> oh well, but I, I mean, it's still you know, still got to drive in the uh, Formula One, so that's got to be something, man. Means he must be pretty good, and I think he really was as well. I never actually saw, saw uh, you know, I'm too young to have seen the uh, driving of uh, Keijo Keke Roosberry, who um, was indeed the first world champion from 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 Finland. I it was like be like before my time in the I believe he drove in the 80s mostly and 70s possibly I think as well I I can't remember what exactly was the year when he he won the championship but uh, I never saw that but that really I think he uh, l largely pioneered the uh, other Finnish drivers in here I I don't think he was the first I'm pretty sure he wasn't the first to drive but he was by Quite a margin, the first one to really have a lot of success in the uh, series. So uh, there's that, and a couple of decades later, here, here we are. When just 
we have these Finnish drivers all around, which is always feels good. It's I don't know if if um, if many other nationalities get this, but I believe uh, I think a Finnish people have a bit of a um, they have a, a bit of a, let's say, a characteristic in their um, national self-esteem where it feels exceptionally good when a Finnish person or, or Finland or something gets mentioned in, you know, worldwide news or something because we always feel that no one really knows pretty much where Finland is, like, like the, it, that we're this tiny unknown country which probably is true <laughs> that's i believe that's true though but uh because of that it feels super nice when uh when finland is mentioned somewhere at least to most people i'm not sure if other uh nationalities have the same sort of reaction they probably have something like that you know but i have a feeling that we react even more strongly than the average you know um, person does to their own country being mentioned And uh, apparently we have some uh, difficulty getting past the, the uh, Mr. Hulkenberg over 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 there, who who uh, is going to be lapped. But uh, let's see if I can, and let's see if I can avoid a collision because I still have to do like you know a few laps over here, and having a broken car to do so would not be ideal because I believe Hamilton is not exactly uh, ages behind me here. And yeah, as you can see, my driving. Oh, oh, oh! Crap, crap, crap! There we are. I didn't think he would like, you know, go that inside. So, uh, oh well. Three point two seconds behind me. Okay, I, I, that's, that's less than I'd like, but uh, it should be fine. Let's just. Get a nice little chicane going over here, and uh, just there we go. It does feel pretty good to be driving a uh, a Mercedes this time because I feel the Ferrari in the F1 2016 game was a pretty underpowered car compared to the Mercedes, so it was pr really hard to take the win over there. So oh well, but uh, this feels pr pretty nice. Okay, since we have five laps of fuel left, I think we're completely fine. It'll get, you know, nice and close, but not too close. And, and it also means that the car will be a bit more uh, lightweight, because it'll have less liquid in it, so... Good for me. I hope. And... Also, we never... But we cannot, you know lose the concentration because disaster is always only one corner away in this sport which is something we gotta keep in mind that was a bit of a late break but we're fine and indeed i if i it, i'm i'm not sure but i think if i'm reading the minimap correctly i think uh yeah hamilton still hasn't gotten past hulkenberg behind me so uh the lapping you know of him so uh it seems like the AI sure has some difficulty getting past each each other on this course as well. And let's just, again, a nice little chicane over here. And there we are. Good. Great. And a nice hairpin. There we are. A bummer that I... I, I really don't get to use the DRS system because um, I'm the leading car, so it's not really uh, for me. And I think it might actually be allowed if you're lapping someone, but that just has, hasn't you know hit the DRS zone, so which is the uh, you know op opening the rear wing to uh, get a bit more uh, speed. And. We just gotta not fuck up this turn either. Ooh, I'm actually doing a pretty fast lap over here, but don't know if that little mistake will cost me. It probably will. It's always a bit of a uh, 
a um, sort of a um, it's always a bit of a, a trade in and trade off to um, try and drive fast laps at the end because your car is you know less weighty because there's less fuel, but also your tires are a bit more worn because you've been driving on them already for a, for a while, so. Grip can be a bit worse, but the car doesn't weigh as much, so it's kind of a, you know, which is better. Yeah, and that lap kind of got bad at the end, but we're fine. I think if we keep up this pace, we will be good. We're less than two laps away from victory. I think we can do this. Just assuming that I don't super hard F up over here, and uh, when I'm done, there will be... One more lap of fuel left, so it'll be so, so it'll be exactly correct. Yes, good engineering team over there. Yes, good, great. Oh, and I think Hamilton has gotten past Hulkenberg at this point, but I'm so far ahead that unless I really, really just uh, miss a turn completely, I should be okay. But there's still more than one lap to go, and you never just. Never become complacent in this, you just... It takes only one mistake. And I really just... My idea is to not use a flashback, that's... I don't want to do that. Let's show our, you know, finish Sisu and uh, persevere and win. Which... Uh, the word Sisu is always a bit of an interesting thing to, to try and translate. It's, it's more or less sort of the... Uh, how can I put this? It's it's it, 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 it's like a combination of 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 perseverance and courage, pretty much like a force of will, you know. Perseverance is probably the the closest thing I can get there, but it also involves like you know doing things bravely. But it's mostly just perseverance and just just you know I will go through this stone if it is the last thing I do. In race. Ooh, I got a fastest lap too. That's curious. A good spot to do that in. Ooh, and Hamilton is already seven seconds behind. Now I gotta just... I cannot... I, I, I cannot F this up anymore. I gotta do this, man. I, I just have to. It is for the 100 years of Finland. I, I have to, you know... For the sake of that, for the sake of celebration of that, I have to manage to pull this off. And I'm not exactly sure what exactly is the game I'll be doing next for the series. There is still uh, a couple of ideas I have, but the thing is, there's not a lot of games that take place in Finland or have things from Finland. It's honestly mostly sports games and motorsports games, so, you know, it's... The choices are not exactly huge, or huge you know, hugely varied, but it's fun to do, so there's that. Which is... The reason why we're all here. And there we are. And one more left here and another right coming up. A bit of a terrible turn there, but we'll take it. Fine. Just, ooh, ooh, tough break. Oh, I really, really missed that one. Ah, sorry. I just I just oversteered the car like hell and it's just like oh crap. And there we are, the final couple of turns and in to the final stretch over here to the checkered flag and we did it! Yay! Awesome! Man! I I really didn't know what was what what would be the like correct difficulty because in the 2016 game, it got so close, man, and I had to use flashbacks because the, the AI just, you know, just crashed into me like, whoa. But, with that indeed, we, we got it done, and we managed to once again celebrate a bit more of 100 years of Finland in, I believe it is the 6th of December, it'll, you know, of, uh, officially be that, and I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think... Considering that the following year will also be like the you know the, the celebration year so so to speak, so I might be doing these even well into 2018 as well, because it'll, it'll be you know it just turned 100 years old and 
It doesn't happen every every year, you know. One hundred years of a country, and it's you know, it, it's not a it. It's, it, it's, it's not exactly a uh, thing to take for granted, you know, that's especially, you know, con considering our geography and, 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 and everything. We have had to fight for our, inde well, our grandfathers and grandmothers have had to fight for our independence, so, and die for it too, so, respect. But, um, with all of that, it's, it's, it's a, it's a good place to live in and a good place to be, and, uh, Good place to celebrate the 100 years of the existence of this country. And uh, indeed, I'm not, I'm not sure what will be the next game I'll do for this yet. I have a, have a, have a few ideas, and how soon it'll be. It it, it might be real soon, or, soon or, or or it might take a little while. But I do hope you've enjoyed this, though. And if you have, please do drop a like or a comment. Or even subscribe or share if you want to. And of course, if you want to ask me something about Finland, I'll you know go to the comments. I'll 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 answer. I'll you know because it's interesting to, to you know give some in, in info on the uh, on on us as a people and as a country and and all that if if someone's in, interested. But indeed, I will see you again next time.